One of the earliest things that I found baffling when I first got into Airsoft in a professional capacity was buckings. Um, initially, when we started selling equipment, I thought it would be a good idea if I was more knowledgeable on you know, the particulars of it. So when we were buying buckings to sell, I noticed that some of them were different degrees. It was like a 50 degree or a 60 degree or a 70 degree bucking. And I was always kind of curious as to exactly what does that mean and how does that relate into, you know, the accuracy of the airsoft gun. So I thought we'd take a little time and look into that today. So early on when I first started buying uh, supplies for our retail location, I was curious as to exactly what that uh, temperature rating meant on the hop-up bucking. Was it meant that it was only for use in that particular temperature? So if it was 50 degrees out, you should use a, a 50 degree bucking or exactly what does that mean? So I called some of the distributors and the manufacturers, this is 10 years ago, of course, uh, as to exactly what that was. And they didn't really seem to know a heck of a lot. The, the answers I got were kind of cryptic, like, well, it's like, you know, if it works for you, whatever that degree is, use that. I was like, well, that's kind of, you know, not helpful. So I looked into it some more. And what I found out eventually is that degree uh, rating that you're seeing on there is the hardness of the bucking. So the lower of the temperature on it is going to be a softer bucking. And the higher degree temperature is going to be a harder bucking. So the next question is, okay, so how does that affect the, the flight of the BB and how do I use uh, one temperature over another? And uh, by the way, for today's test, we're using Maple Leaf MR hops. And this is not a particular endorsement of this hop over any others. It's just I wanted to use uh, hop up buckings that were all from the same manufacturer so that I was getting, you know, a re trying to get an accurate representation of what does the temperature do to the flight of the BB. So as with everything in airsoft, everybody's got an opinion on exactly what works the best. And, you know, there's not a heck of a lot out there as far as actual, you know, scientific data to support, you know, some of these people's uh, assumptions or theories. So I thought it would be a good idea to take three different buckings, all from the same manufacturer, but just different degrees. So we've got a 50 degree, a 70 degree, and an 80 degree bucking, all with the same hop-up unit, all with the same length barrel. Um, for the interest of time, I decided to just use three identical hop-up units and barrels. That way I didn't have to completely disassemble them for each test, so I could just set up one with each uh, bucking and then shoot them. So for the first test we did, we used 0.2 gram beads. We are shooting at a distance of around 100 feet, and I was shooting them at a velocity of around 350 feet per second because I wanted to see, you know, in a situation like what we've got here, uh, that's probably the most common um, BB and velocity. Um, and what I found by shooting at the targets is that there was absolutely no difference whatsoever in the accuracy of the bucking. Um, all three of them, when shot at a 14 by 22 target, about 80% of the shots hit the, the paper. So about 20 of the shots completely missed the paper altogether. So with, now and you have to understand too, we're shooting 0.2 gram BBs at 100 feet. So um, they're typically, that's, that's stretching the range of a 0.2 gram BB. But I also wanted to sort of do that a little bit to find out because it seems that those longer ranges that the divergence between what really works and what really doesn't, you usually see a, a huge disparity in one is really good and one is really bad. When you're shooting at a closer range, you know, you're talking about millimeters. So it's, it's harder to really gauge those sort of differences. So at 100 feet, we only got about 80% accuracy using the three buckings. And there was, I would almost say, no difference whatsoever in the accuracy of them. Now, what I can say from working with the different buckings is that the way that the buckings worked was different in the respect that the softer buckings or the 50 degree buckings, um, you didn't need as much hop turned on. So they started to affect the BB with very little hop up uh, actually touching the, the BB versus the, the harder uh, hop up units that are in the 80 degree range you had to crank the hop up a lot before it started making enough contact that you actually started to see 
uh, a significant amount of, of backspin in the BB. So um, I've heard some people say that that's better because these are harder buckings and they'll last longer, but I would, I would counter that argument with saying that if this is a softer bucking and you don't have to use it as much to get the same result, then you're probably, you know, your lifespan of your bucking is probably gonna be about the same. Um, we've got dozens and dozens of rental guns here that we use five days a week that, you know, if I, we don't, one thing we don't see a huge amount of is significant uh, bucking wearing out, you know, or, or erosion of the buckings or whatever scientific term you want to use for that. In fact, we, we see far more, you know, mechanical issues with like trigger switches burning out and stuff like that. It's very rare, you know, it, it does happen, but it's like, it's, it's sort of the least of our worries. And quite frankly, changing a bucking out in a hop-up unit is, is way easier than changing like a, a bad trigger switch or something like that. So for the argument that one bucking might last longer than another bucking, it's really not that big of an inconvenience to carry an extra bucking with you and, and to swap it out. It's something you could very easily do in the field. So um, I would rather get better accuracy or more consistent results than I'm worried about the longevity of the bucking. So given the results that I got with the 0.2 gram BBs, I decided it would be a good idea to try a heavier weight BB to see how much the accuracy was improved by using a 0.32 gram BB rather than a 0.2 gram BB. So we upped the weight of the BB, which in most respects will you know, give you more accuracy. But the question was also, how does the different uh, temperature buckings affect a heavier weight BB? So the first we used was the 50 degree bucking. Um, shooting at the same distance, we're shooting at 100 feet at generally around 350 feet per second. Um, Mind you, if we did a higher velocity, I, I have no doubt that we would have gotten even better accuracy, but one of the downsides of Airsoft is you have to keep the velocity down to a reasonable level so nobody gets injured. So with that in mind, we tried to keep it to a velocity that was considered safe to shoot at other people with. So at 100 feet with the 50 degree bucking, we got a average of 10 and 3 quarter inches on our groups. Um, when we moved up to the blue bucking, um, which is a 70 degree MR hop bucking, we got an eight inch average group. So the group size actually got better. And then when we moved up to the 80 degree bucking, the accuracy improved even more down to 6.5 inches. So using a heavier BB at a little bit of a higher velocity, the harder buckings did actually improve the accuracy of the gun. Not a huge amount. I mean, it was, it was relative. You're talking about going from a 10 inch group down to a six and a half inch group. So it's not like night and day, but it is measurable that if you are looking for a little more accuracy, I think it's a pretty safe bet that the um, harder buckings are probably going to give you that if you're using a heavier gram BB. If you're using like a 0.2 gram BB, there's so many other factors that are not going to give you much accuracy that, you know, your buckings or, you know, any number of things like your barrel length are really not going to have a, f a huge effect. And I think we've seen that uh, repeated in almost all the tests that we've done. But when you are using a heavier weight BB, you can see some sort of uh, improvement based on that. So hopefully this helps you guys uh, next time you're going shopping for buckings. Um, like I said, we were using the MR hops, but this is not a particular endorsement of the MR hops because um, there are other brands out there and there are other designs that may work better than this. And that's something that we're going to use in a future video that we're going to look into as well. So uh, stay tuned for that. And until then, don't let the bastards get you down.